It's almost here, John, the start of the season. Feeling excited now? I'm always excited about football. Um, mightn't show it, but I am. Um, but it's hard work and you know, you've got to be prepared to do the hard work. And then hopefully you get the rewards that your labour uh, has earned. Um, you know, there's no guarantees in football, you can just only do your best. And, you know, there's still a little bit of way to go to f for our preparations, but, you know, I am pleased with the way it's been going. How big is it, the Wickham game? You know, they're relegated from the Championship. How good a game is it to start the League One season with? Uh, well, any game you play is going to be good, isn't it? and the first day of the season is always special for me. I used to love it as a player. It was always, it was always kind to me the first day of the season. And they always used to score. So, um, and it's just, it's a thrill of it coming back because you haven't been playing, and then you've got the added bonus of the crowds. You know, so this is like, this is like playing football for the first time in two years, really. And um, it's going to be exciting, and I'm really looking forward to it. And Wickham's a club. Accrington know well with Gareth Ains, with George Jacobson, and now they've got Sam Vokes there as well. They, they've got assembled a strong team. They have, yeah, and you know, Gareth has done really well in his tenure there. And, um, you know, he surprised a lot of people. Uh, didn't surprise me. So, you know, I think people within the game know when teams are getting start to click. Uh, and he'll be under no illusions how hard it'll be this year as well for him, um, as it will be for us all. Uh, but you've just got to go there with, and I'll go there trying to win. Uh, I'll set my team out to try and win. And we'll work as hard as we can to win. How pleased are you with your new signings, the likes of James Trafford, Harry Pell? You know, I know you've signed some for the under-23s, but everybody's pushing for a first-team place. Yeah, you know, I mean, I think people have, have looked at the signings we've made and think we've made a lot of signings, and a lot are for the 23 and for the future. Um, but you know, there's some who will be involved in the first team, and some of the 23s will be involved in the first team. I've kept a couple of slots open, um, so I can maybe add within the window and see what we need. Um, but I am pleased, you know, the lads who have come in, you think they've been here 10 years, certainly Harry Pell. Um, he's taken over Sean's Matt run on the club, I think. <laughs> That's a good thing though, isn't it, that somebody settles in yeah. it? You need someone like that in the changing rooms, and you know, he's a good influence on the players, and you know, he's got a, he's got, now got to transform that into performances on the pitch. And John also Sullivan's lively on and off the pitch as well, isn't he? Well, we know what we're going to get from John, and he works his socks off. He won't leave anything out there, you know what I mean? He'll, He'll try his hardest, and he's, he's got ability, as we've all seen. And you know, we have had a habit of getting the best out of John. Have you seen um, James Trafford growing confidence in pre season? Because obviously, he hasn't got a lot of league experience, but he seems to have come out of his shell a little bit. Yeah, he's a good lad, James. And you know, just speaking to him on a daily basis, he feels as though he's getting, he's learning every day, he's getting better, he's getting stronger. Um, and obviously, the mental aspect of it, um, he's got good players to learn from. And I suppose the only disappointment is Seamus Keneally will miss out through injury, that's a bit of a blow at the moment. Big blow losing his skipper and Seamus was outstanding last year and that's why we rewarded him in a new contract. Uh, and I know he'll be doing his, or he'll be working as hard as he can to get himself fit as soon as he can. And just to picture the scene at Wickham having the home away fans back, Coming out onto that pitch, it'll just be such make such a difference. I always get goosebumps when we play at Wickham for when we had that charge up the league when we nearly got promoted and um, all our fans waiting for us in the car park when we played them about the third to last game of the season. The atmosphere was outstanding and we ended up winning and that was a fantastic day. Um, and hopefully we can have a, a, a repeat of that.